original, ori this is the pilot brace. You'll see them on the car, the other three on the car. For some reason, one of the four was missing. Originally, this was a bent piece of uh, one inch by four inch steel. And then, uh, so they would have had at the Laconia Car Company where this was made, they would have had a, a machine that would have, when this was red hot, they would have been able to put this offset in it and they would have been able to bend this end. But uh, for us, that's impossible. So we're welding it up out of solid stock. However, by the time it's finished, you will not know one way or the other. The steel is a little better. What they used in the old ones was wrought iron, and you can see the striations in it, as we have in some of the other pieces, where it was literally beaten to shape rather than rolled as this was. So what our uh, technician is doing over here is he's welding it together, he's drilling the mounting holes, and um, it's almost ready to go on the car. These are motor support bars for ASL 100. The, the bolts that go through here that bolt onto the motor frame and then there's another casting that mounts here so that when the motor starts, whichever direction it goes, there's a spring mounting. The old ones were completely bent and rusted away to, in some cases, as little as half their thickness. So these are brand new, made out of steel. It's interesting, the ones that uh, Laconia made were probably from a special rolled piece of steel but this was cut out of a plate five and a half inches wide, which is not a standard size. So they, where these came from, they had a machine that just cut this out of a big, huge plate of steel. So these are already except for painting. Even, even trolley cars have mufflers. This is uh, when the air from the brake cylinder is released, it goes out through here and makes it much quieter. I've ridden in a locomotive. In fact, on the uh, same route that this car ran, and I remember how noisy it was when the, it was a diesel locomotive, and I, but it still has the same kind of brakes, and I was amazed how much noise there was. So this uh, put the sound down below the cab, it was up, down under the floor, and also quieted it a bit. And all these parts have been sandblasted and primed. This is the end of a brake shoe turnbuckle, which also I may have the wrong hand here, uh, which also is used for brake adjusting. If I got the right end of this together, it would screw in here, and there's another one on the other end. And these, uh, just like on an automobile, the older automobiles, it would uh, adjust the brake shoes so that they, uh, as they wear down, they fit more properly. This is a bushing that we put in, and I see a problem with it. I wonder if anybody else... Is it my eyes? Does that look as if it's not round? <laughs> I shouldn't even be saying it, but it looks to me like it's slightly oval. Anyway, where there's wear, uh, you have a hardened piece of steel called a bushing, and then you have a pin that goes through it, like on uh, this one, and that will uh, keep the casting from wearing. Now, it's somewhere along the way, this end broke off, so our machinist, Dean, welded a new end on it, and we thought it better not to take it down quite as close as the other one was to give it a little strength. 